Mississippi, a bill has passed the House of Representatives that creates a special alert notification to raise public awareness about missing people with cognitive disabilities. Here in the studio with us to talk about uh, what's next and why this bill was really needed is advocate Micah Hartman. Good to see you, Micah, and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. You know, we already have the amber alert. We have the silver alert. I might be missing one. There might even be another one. But this is the purple alert. Tell us a little bit about it. This purple alert is absolutely needed. Um, you know, it's very personal to me because my little guy is dual diagnosis. Hudson was born with Down syndrome and with autism. And we know that children, I'm in many groups, and we know children with disabilities a lot of times will elope, run away, what we like to call bolting, run with their head down and as fast that happens as possible. A lot, really? a lot, it does. It's very, very common. As a matter of fact, we will be the second state to get the purple alert should this pass in the Senate. Um, it's already in the state of Florida. We took their um, first draft of this, if you will, and we improved on it. Theirs was written for adults with cognitive or mental disabilities. We've made ours for persons so that it would be for all different ages, but it also can be in combination too. So should a child with Down syndrome or autism be kidnapped, it could go into an a amber alert as well. So it would be the amber purple so, so alert. So it's not like dementia or something like that. I mean, the so silver alert covered. generally is covered. That's covered. The, the silver alert covers the, the dementia. Purple and how it works, we all hear our phones go off. And here in the media, we get the amber alerts and we get the silver alerts. Law enforcement gets a heads up. Uh, so basically, that's how this is going to work with the purple alert as well. Absolutely. We're not reinventing a wheel. We're just adding another color to it. And this color will let you know that the child may be stimming. They may be nonverbal. For my case, my little guy is nonverbal. So if you were to how approach him, he? Hudson is five. Okay. And, um, and he, he does like to run. And we do know a lot of our children who get away oftentimes will run into busy streets. We'll run into swimming pools, ponds. Mm. 70 to 90 percent of deaths that occur from elopement are to drowning. Well, I mean, this sailed through the house. I can't imagine okay. having any problem as the two chambers negotiate and then the governor's going to sign it into law. So that's, what's that going to mean to you on that day? Oh, my gosh. You know, we have been, since Hudson was born, um, you know, I said he's five. We've already helped pass several laws in our state, and this one is e extremely important to me because this one covers Hudson his whole life. So being able to add that purple alert in our state gives families like mine a peace of mind to be able to go out and enjoy our communities. It is very, you know, there was a Barbie recently that I saw that was a, the, with no children, a perfect Barbie with children. She had short hair and less makeup and then a special needs Barbie mom. And, um, and by all stretch, you know, crazy hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this legislation <laughs> again uh, uh, through the house. And I don't think it'll have any problem. Uh, weaving its way through the uh, process up in Jackson. Micah, you're a good advocate for this cause. Appreciate having you on the show today. Thank you for having me.